kept forging a new rootless path. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Apple Valley, Minnesota, weighing in at 220 pounds, Damon Kemp. Kemp already has countless amateur wrestling accolades, and he's ready to add to that in WWE. With his talent and his aggression, I don't think anyone can stop him. The WWE Universe just exploded. That's because L.A. Knight is here. And yeah. his partner from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight will hand out a beatdown to anybody, any night of the week. It doesn't matter to him. You know, for years, people tried to tell L.A. Knight he needed to step up his game to get to the WWE. Well, now Knight's letting people know that they need to step up to his level. The bloodline is here. WWE Universe is it all. And, and a combined weight of 515 pounds. Solo Sinko and Roman Reigns, the bloodline. Look, we know every member could be dominant on their own, but they are even stronger together. When the bloodline is on the same page, guys, they are simply unbeatable. Well, they are on the same page, Cole. They've realigned their values, dropped the dead weight, and the bloodline remains stronger than ever. This is still their yard. And the bloodline has survived rare losses, defections, yet still remain strong. Yeah, tonight is a showcase of the bloodline strength. Hard to imagine being in the ring with the bloodline and not feeling instantly intimidated. Well, look at the raw power, the athleticism, and the intensity that this group possesses. They've shown they can conquer any obstacle and claim any prize they set their sights on. And they'll stop at nothing to do it. The ruthlessness of the bloodline has become practically legendary at this point. Good to be in Orlando, an adopted home of sorts for WWE. Yeah, there's lots of fun parks here, too. Saxon goes to those discount theme parks, just like he's a discount <laughs> broadcaster. Hey, don't knock it till you try it, Corey. Not many people go to it, but that means there's no lines. Hey, want to go with me, Michael? No, Byron. No chance. Ever. shoulder tackle and that was obviously not part of Damon's strategy carefully placed stomp to the arm and Damon is starting to falter here Roman seems tapped into his endless reserve of strength delivery he's got him down is this it gets the shoulder up wow what's it going to take he couldn't make much of that pin attempt Kemp comes right back at him. 
Kemp finally creates some more offense for himself. Good chance for him to regain his wits. Dropped with a suplex. Into the corner. This can't be good. Punishing the leg. Goes without saying, but a leg injury will hamper your ability to do just about anything. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Break of the face. My God. Oh, he retaliates. Is it enough here? In a kick out at two. Not yet. Yes, tag. Reigns has his opponent in a fireman's carry and switches into a flapjack. Belly to back suplex coming. No! Oh, oh look at this. What a headbutt. Oh my goodness. Oh, he could pin his opponent right here. No, he kicks out. He clearly has no intention of staying down. He got whipped into that corner. Oh, targeting the arm. This has oh, got to hurt. Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. He catches Knight with a counter. This match grinded him down a little. LA Knight backing up that talk with some masterful in-ring work. Ooh, just turned that around. Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Hoist it up. Down. He made it. Tag made. Uh oh. Look for the suplex. No, uh -oh. no, no, no. Neck breaker. And a clothesline. An impressive sequence from LA Knight. Solo needs to start reacting quicker, gloating for the world to see. Tag made. Go, go, go. Oh, that's a kick right to the face. Double the punishment. The tribal chief locked and loaded. up the target. Spear! L.A. Knight is done. Cover! Two count! Somehow he kicked out. He's in total disbelief. That did not finish the job. Everyone watching this is in total disbelief right now. Roman has been denied. This is not something we're used to seeing, and by the looks of things, neither is Reigns. with authority. He moved, but can he capitalize? He's on his heels a bit now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Able to get there in time. Jumping neckbreaker. Ouch. Something's about to go either very wrong to the sky. Through the air. And connects. And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. Two. Oh, my God. A German Solix. Clearly waiting for that. Boom. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Slam! Almost drove him through the ring. One, two, three. Oh, foot meets face. 
Tribal Chief oozing disdain for his opponent. Oh, vicious body shot. Reigns had that scouted. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. Roman Reigns with a couple of headbutts follows by a right hand, and Reigns has him right where he wants him. Steps outside the ring. This here, classic Roman Reigns measuring his man. Drive by. Oh, man. with a well-placed knee to the face. Almost ended it there. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Caught in a bad position here. Driven down. a victory for the team, especially Roman Reigns, who really helped put this one away. Straight dominance, guys. Another team steps up, and the bloodline shuts them down. Here comes a high-flying hunk. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. <laughs> this is brilliant. Oh, come on. What is Lucifer. he doing out here? I think it's fairly obvious, Saxton. And things breaking down before the match even starts. At a certain point, you have to be ready for something like this. You get caught sleeping, you deal with the consequences. The official indicating that we're about to have a no contest. Okay, everyone, you got it out of your system. Time to get back to business. This fight has made its way to the entranceway. Oh, man, so many things can go wrong now. Obviously, Umberto has his sights set on winning, so what's it going to take for him to make that happen? Umberto needs to create chances to use his speed and agility. Those are his strengths, and the more he utilizes them, the more damage he'll be able to pile up on his opponent. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. This arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. Bam! Down he goes. Big forearm. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. Caught with a punch. There are a lot of ways this can go sideways. Everything on that stage looks like it hurts. And a series of vicious stomps. You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. Back into the ring. 
And now this match has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in their vocabulary at this point. I think you're right, Saxton, and I love it. You are not going to know your left from your right after something like that. What a clothesline! Ouch! <laughs> and he sends him into the corner. Pat, that one's scouted. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Uh-oh. Umberto gets the better there. Hit but. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Oh. Right in the face. My God. Counters with an attack on Umberto. That could be it. One, two, oh, he kicked out. Close call. That was almost lights out. Right in the face. Mark. Wait, 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 wait. Power right out in one. Still no end in sight here. Catches a punch. it around. What a forearm. Fought back with a punch to the gut. After humble beginnings, this has really grown into a career-defining conflict for these superstars. For years, their names will be spoken together as everyone recalls the war they waged against one another. Yeah, and he goes for the pin. Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Ah, oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. Not so fast. Hurricane Rana. Good grief. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Umberto delivered that attack. He was born for in-ring competition. Yeah, he's got wrestling in his blood. Knees up. Knees were up. All the breath taken out of their body with that counter. Shot. Oh, ruthless striking. Umberto locks the arms, rings of Saturn submission. Cinched in. Oh, this one's over. Tap out. Come. He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. To the outside. This could get wild. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. 
Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Ooh. Contact to the back of the neck. Lands an elbow. Joe looking for the high risk move. Perched up top. What? That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. And he tosses him back in now. Careful, that should do it right there. Kick out. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was very European. Roberto isn't being given any space to regroup. Piece by piece, Joe is chipping away. Oh my gosh, a follow-up moonsault slam? The arm absorbing the damage. Right to the face. My God. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Just cranking the head. to land. Uh-oh. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. How? How? Able to avoid there. Look at this. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Waiting patiently in the corner, stalking their opponent. Glasgow send off. Just a small shoulders down. He wins. He wins. Here is your winner, Joe Coffee. Joe Coffee with quite the win here. Tonight, it just wasn't in the cards for Umberto. Umberto was bested. What it's all about now is how he bounces back. Very confident walking into this matchup. Oh, and from behind, a chop block clipping the knee. Well, he's not going to be in any condition to compete after that. Well, that could create some disastrous repercussions for this competitor moving forward in this match. Because if you can't walk, you can't fight. Finally, these superstars have made it to the ring after a vicious surprise attack while entering. I got to imagine that brutal assault has taken some kind of toll, though. Yeah, as this match goes on, the lasting effects of that attack might become a factor. He gets out of the way. Ooh, neck breaker excellently executed. Planning on what to do next. There's no good way to land on the ring apron like that. The location has the least give out of the entire ring.
What are you waiting for? Get back in there. You tell him, Saxton. Oh, costly error there. Hooked up, and boom! Counters! Andre Chase getting taught a lesson of his own. That's the kind of physicality we can expect from Stax. Corey, what challenges does an opponent face when they're in the ring with Andre Chase? Chase possesses a very calculating mind. He sees the way things will unfold in the match the same way a chess master does. That lets Chase unload with surprisingly fast offense. And did you hear the impact of that? You fire a shot like that to completely immobilize your opponent. Able to capitalize on Chase's mistake. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Targeting the throat there. Shoulders down, this could be it. Kick out just in time. Just barely, but it counts. DDT! Ooh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Lives to fight another day. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? And he gets set back into the ring. Kick to the gut. Oh, <laughs> what a right! From the top! Oh, misses the mark. Firm control. Oh, kick right in the face. Oh, and Stax fights back. Uh-oh, submission move. Fujiwara. Trying to find a way out. And he's out and delivers a knee. Oh, my God. He's looking a little off balance. And Chase just unleashed a dissertation of disaster on his opponent. SOS! Cover! Kick out before the refs count. Maybe that was just to keep his opponent off balance. Got him where he wants him. Up and down. Back and arrow. Incredible. Focused all their aim to the knee area with great effect. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Fans off the attack with an elbow. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. He's taking this to the floor now. Get to the gut. <laughs> what a right! Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Guys, truly, I need to know, when will enough be enough? When is this going to end? They truly want to rip each other apart. I think you just answered your own question. This doesn't end until they rip each other apart. There's no happy ending to this rivalry. There is no saving grace. Whip back into the ring. Andre sidesteps. Inverted atomic drop. Ooh. Oh, elbow right to the bread basket for their troubles. Oh, just flowing through the air. Ducking out of trouble. What a close line. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. At this point, it might be too much for him to recover from, Cole. A death lock is in. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Oh, we got to see a tap. Kick to the gut. And a big right hand. Shoulders down. And he kicks out of the pit one shows that this is still anybody's match at this point stiff 
punch. Andre is unable to stop this string of offense. If Chase can just weather this storm, he'll be fine. Andre Chase with a hammerlock applied into a flatline. Andre got it. Can he end it? There's two. Wow, just barely making it out. You gotta be kidding me. Surviving that maneuver is absolutely amazing. And it may just take going to the well one more time with that maneuver to gain the pinfall. And the damage on Stax is now accumulating. Somehow, Chase still has some gas in the tank deep into this match. I also think Chase is bleeding now, guys. <laughs> oh, that'll scratch you up. Oh, he's got him in deep, deep trouble here. Look out. Oh, Slight oh. shot right across the back of the neck. Ouch. And there's the cover. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Whoa, leaping through the air. Shot to the gut will break things up. Drop kick right to the patella. So much punishment has been absorbed by these men already. And yet, they are still going. Still ready for more. Oh, stop right to the hand. He moves just in time. Up and around. Down with a tilt the world backbreaker. jaw with the knee. Solid punch. Catches the leg. Captured the leg. Big mistake. Double axe handle. Butterfly double underhook up and down face first. No way Stax can come back from that. Won this match, but there was some jaw jacking and... Wait. Oh, no. Got a steel chair in hand. And attacking the loser. Wants to make sure that this superstar never walks again. This will do it. Don't blink or you'll miss Nathan Frazier. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Jersey, the Channel Islands. Weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan One of the best young high flyers in all of WWE. 
Yeah, but Frazier's also shown his grappling skills in winning the NXT Heritage Cup. A truly well-rounded athlete. I'd say it's about high time for a little British strong style. And his opponent from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates! And Nathan could be wasting time playing to the crowd. This is a man who captured the NXT UK Championship as a... Uh-oh, no! What a malicious attack. This is about getting the edge, not making friends, Saxton. The ref motioning to get in the ring now. Yeah, I think the referee's at the end of their rope. You can only push a referee so far, Corey. Crank in the head. And I think we all know nothing good comes of fighting on the stage. Case in point, nothing good happening right now. And that was a precisely measured attack. Nathan Frazier has impressed so much in his short time in WWE. Corey, what do you think has been the key attribute to his success so far? Without a question, Cole, it's his heart. The kid's got fighting spirit, an innate will to win that cannot be taught. And I'm betting he taps into it here. Breathtaking head scissor takedown. Facing off at the top of the ramp. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to hurt. No, 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 that'll break his arm. Vicious. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Setting it up. Into a brain buster. Intensity and anger boiling over. All coming to a head up on the stage. As we can only see, it's only getting worse by the second, Michael. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Superstars in the ring, and the referee officially starts the match. Well, if this is the way we're starting, Cole, I think the WWE Universe is in for quite a show tonight. Oh. My, oh my, what elevation. Oh, walloped by a huge club. He's struggling a bit here. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Oh, man, that'll bend your arm. So agile. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. He's got him scouted. Big punch finds its mark. Pulls the shoulder. Headed to the top rope. Perched up top. A diving knee drop. Tyler Bate heads up high. From the top, and nobody's there. Swinging neck breaker. Ooh, point of the elbow counters that. Hoist their opponent up, round and round we go for an airplane spin and not stopping. Not quite yet. Oh, God, no, I guess we are going the other way around. Man, what a way to punish your opponent. And if you're not careful for yourself as well, that's the pa Is it enough? Whoa. The cover! Two breaks the count. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Uh oh! Uh oh! That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. And now gets tossed into the ring. The head scissor takedown. Single leg drop kick caught him. Tyler didn't look too comfortable there. Standing move. Here's a cover. Could be it. He's able to beat a two count. All the punishment he's taken, and yet he's still in this match. Running Hurricane Rana.
Hooked him up. And a suplex. He's going to the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. Kicks out. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Oh, he fights bait back. Irish rip out of the turnbuckle, reversed, walking the rope, spectacular athleticism. And there's Roseline on the money. Executed. He's starting to struggle here. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. Snap suplex, very effective. state of distress. And that's the will of Frazier, the fighting spirit. It has him standing. Will it be? A kick out at two. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. No. The dive! Like a heat-seeking missile hit the target right on the mark. Nathan. Count out may be imminent here. Really testing fate right now. Canadian destroyer. And the impact jars Tyler in the leg going. Bait can only consume this amount of pain for so long before succumbing to its effects. And it's all over. Freezer gets it done. Here is your The challenger unable to make it back in in time. The rep really had no choice. When a match is decided by countout, it leaves you wondering where this match could have gone. Time to wake up, because you can't sleep on Wendy Chu. Oh, it's easy to discount her and her napping ways, but trust me, Chu is the real deal. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Chinatown, New York, Wendy Chu! Wendy Chu, all 
always dressed for comfort, but more than ready for a fight. And you definitely don't want to get run over by the Wendy Choo Choo Train. Yes, I do. A real train. Hey, hey, look alive. Look alert out there. Hey, you can't underestimate the Wendy Choo Choo Train. You sleep in a race car bed, Saxton. Leave me alone, Corey. She is the top gaijin of the women's division. Blair Davenport ready to take down her next victim. And from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport. This woman is the textbook definition of ruthless. You gotta love Blair Davenport. Talks a big game about her wickedness, ferociousness, and willingness to do whatever it takes. You're right, and she backs up everything she says as soon as the bell rings. Yeah, a woman with a dark side, but a very bright future. signals for the bell and we are finally underway these superstars are seeing red right now gentlemen uh oh jawbreaker call the dentist up on their shoulders down in a hurry down on the chest big forearm Able to get the advantage here. Tossed into the corner. Oof, running knee in the corner. Fails to connect on the springboard. Oh! Finds a counter for two. Oh, oh, oh. She could do it here. Stops the ref count before two. Still in it. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. She manages to get control. Elbow drop. Davenport's plans for division domination clearly being challenged with that. Oh, God. Blair Davenport makes for a pretty intimidating opponent, Corey. How exactly do you contend with a cold-hearted competitor like her? You start by doing everything you can to wear down her confidence, by trying to crack her stony determination. If you can frustrate her with some bothersome offense, you'll slowly get her off balance. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Kick right to the leg. Just a ruthless streak for the world to see. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. From the top, missile drop kick. Vicious knee. Davenport way up high. Soaring. Oh, what a splash! Man, oh man. Party's over. Good night. She faked her out. 
She kicks out in one. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. What a beautiful moonsault. That extra rotation creates... Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission beat... Nice escape. Wicked forearm. Did you hear that thud? Able to get out of the way. Headbutt to the back of the neck. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. For Nelson into the slam. Goes into the pin. Two. She was close to the end there. She's still as determined as ever. Seated bionic elbow. Caught with that sharp elbow. Blair Davenport needs a minute to compose herself. Come on, Blair. Stop wasting time. Well-delivered suplex. Boom! Uh, she's trying. Trying to create space. She's climbing to the top turnbuckle. From the top, look out for all! Coming down on their opponent like a sack of bricks. Two. And now thrown back into the ring. Three. This could be big, going up high. Incoming! Point of the elbow finds the mark. It off. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. Here we go. Time to work out some aggression. Ooh. Just teeing off with that fight forever vibe. Ah, oh, the reversal by Chu. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Gaming up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. The opponent set up in the corner, creating a little space. Super kick in the corner. Ouch. And Davenport is continuously on the defensive. Smart stuff against Davenport. Trying to wear away at her confidence with each attack. Slowly getting her more off balance. She's pushed into the corner. Oh, my goodness. A striking blow. My God, enough. Japanese on drag. She's staying elusive. Oh, and a reversal. Looks like Blair is locked in on her opponent. Abandon being shown and paying off as well. And a butt in the face. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. This is going to be nasty kick right to the gut. Ooh, kick to the face. And that stops whatever Blair had intended. Tonight. 
Too strong. An uppercut. Puts the boot to the midsection. My God, enough! Both wrists captured. Man, knee strike. That could be curtains for Wendy. Two. What a win. Here is your winner, Blair Davenport. This was not the showing Wendy Chu had hoped for. Wendy Chu learning the hard way. You don't sleep on the job. Burn the ships. Baron Corbin is raring for a fight. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The lone wolf mentality is back. No one's safe. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin. A perfect hybrid athlete, size, speed, strength, and skill. Baron Corbin, one of the most dominant forces to attack a WWE ring in recent memory. Facing a man in Carmelo Hayes who gets under his opponent's skin before the match even starts. The question is, can this guy focus and put Melo away? Swagger on another level. Here comes Melo. From Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes! Carmelo Hayes is a dynamic and exciting superstar to watch between the ropes. Nobody does it better, at least according to him. Well, I fail to see how anyone could disagree. Hayes has ridiculous athleticism and a skill ceiling that's only getting higher.
Mello ready to do something special. Action has made it back to the ring, and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hands full in this one. Goodness gracious. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. The stomp in every single part of his body. Oh, he knew what was coming. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Uh-oh. Up and... Oh, you face first. That was awesome. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. Boom. What a drop kick. On the mark. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT. Oh, not what Hayes intended. Punch right to the face. We know Corbin is not afraid of a brawl, but what if his opponent decides to turn this into a technical contest? Look, Cole, raw power and brute force can beat even the most seasoned grappler, and that's the case with Corbin. He needs to hit hard and hit often. Turning it around. Jaw shattering boot. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. He's absorbed some damage already. Excellent display of the raw talent Hayes possesses. Heads out of the ring, what's next? Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Planet face first. Corbin avoids the offense. Boom! Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. And into the count. I think this ref might be a little slow on the count. Ah, oh, and caught with an A. Oh, putting focus on the arm here. Insulting. Trying to get that mental edge. You can't let yourself get psyched out. And a tilt the world face buster. Simply effortless from Hayes. Mello showing he was born to make things look easy. Oh man, turned it into a statement DDT. He saw it coming. Larian. Into the corner now. And responds with a counter of their own. Whoa, cross body. A snap man. Refusing to give up even an inch of ground as this match continues. A sharp blow to the neck. Escapes in a nick of time. Oh, bear hug. 
But Bear Hug cinched in. Gotta find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Raining down elbows and escaping the bit. Uh oh. End of days. Incredible. Corbin might take it here. Two count. And they're still in this. It was almost all over. Almost a three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. Corbin did a great job to pull that maneuver off, but somehow it just wasn't enough, and now Corbin has a lot to think about. The end is looming now. Not what you want to see by any means. Springboard misses the target. And the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Oh, right in there. A oh, bear hook gets to the ropes, forcing the break. Offer a reprieve. Smart strategy. Attack the knee. I'll tell you, this guy's no competitor here is looking to give in. It's going to take a lot to end this fight. We are seeing sheer per. He may get the three count right here. This is it. No, a two count. Almost inhuman at this point. Slide in the in the corner and an elbow for good measure. Oh geez, nasty kick to the face. Close line. Good lord, so effective. And an elbow. Oh, that was just malicious. Just disrespectful. Nasty shot, and now the blood is flowing from Mello's face. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. We got a cover. What an incredible match we are witnessing. Boom! Did you hear the impact? Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Oh my gosh! Hayes, he's thinking big. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Here we go. Hayes, nothing but net. And that can vanquish Corbin. Two. Finally ends it. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner. Carmelo Hayes. And Carmelo Hayes prevails. Corbin is no stranger to failure, but he can't feel good about this result. The raid is about to begin. Brace for pillaging and destruction. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Valhalla, 
and a combined weight of 552 pounds, the NXT Tag Team Champions, Ivar and Eric the Viking Raiders. The Viking Raiders approach the ring every night as if it's a battlefield, and they fight accordingly. Yeah, holding back is apparently not in the Viking playbook. But intimidation certainly is. These warriors are a scary sight. Here comes the architect, Seth Rollins, the self-proclaimed future of WWE. Ready to go and do exactly what he does best. Man, their opponents first, representing the authority from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! The man who bought in, the man who knows what's best for business. Oh, more like the man who sold out, who proved he cares about no one but himself. Well, it's lonely at the top, Saxton, and that's exactly where Rollins wants to be. And when the architect has his sight set on something, it's only an inevitability. Sometimes it can be hard to tell just how good Seth Rollins really is, but he really is capable in the ring. We've seen that before and will no doubt see that tonight. Well, I'd say he's more than capable. Rollins believes he's on a whole other level, and it's hard to argue against that. It is indeed time to play the game. Triple H, a true mastermind, dismantles opponents piece by piece. Well, you're right about that, Cole. Each and every move is perfectly calculated. And representing the authority from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds. The game, Triple H. You know, maybe this is a case of the teacher looking to educate the students. We know Triple H created NXT in his vision, but perhaps he's decided to come out here and show our NXT superstars how it's done. It's a case of leading by example. The game is here to teach and raise everybody to the next level from the bottom of the NXT roster to the top to show them how it's done the right way. Referee signals for the bell, and we are finally underway. 
These superstars yeah. are seeing red right now, gentlemen. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Uh, Delivers the cross body. Strong right forearm. And the counter from Rollins. Slight blade. Ridiculous standing shooting star. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. What a shot. Extending their opponent's arm out. Big leg drop. I'm more with a spin kick of doom. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, leg lariat. Shifts it back onto him. He skirts away, living to fight another day. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Ivar did his homework there. Powerbomb! What now? A uh, stop right to the gut. And on that exchange, it looked like Ivar lost some focus. From the top, top and down. Is it enough here? And he has the shoulder up before two. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Ah, oh, look at this. Headbutt. Oh. Oh, the death lock applied. Submission move. This is how you punish your opponent. Seth Rollins is tagged in. Everything's about to change. Whoa, not quite yet. Dishing out a suplex. Clean tag for his partner. Able to parry that one. Bam! Oh, sent flying. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Side now, guys. This manager is doing something very suspicious. Tagged into the action. Popped up. Whoa, change of play. That could have gone either way. Eric gets countered. Uh oh, position in. Measuring. Ooh, well placed knee drop to the skull. Driving down with the axe handle. Swats him away to get out of danger. Forearm to the jump.
the face. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. are so important in a match like this, to keep fresh. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. This is not good! Stop! Right across the spine. Down to Odin. He's going for the pin. This could be it! And still in this. He just won't give up. Maybe not! Maybe not! And the ref can't even start the count. It's unthinkable. Someone beating the one count at this point? Line out of nowhere. Ivar has him up and drives him down. Can Ivar close things out? Cover. Coming to the rescue. Elbow thrown, saying not today. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Boom, right in the button. And Ivar finding a way to inflict more damage. The gears for Ivar might be turning toward ending things. Arms hooked by the game. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Looking to end it here. This could be it. Absolute power. That's really as close as it gets. The tag, and here comes Seth Rollins. Uh-oh. Time clothesline. Good grief. And Rollins looked to step behind. An attack from the Viking Raiders that would make Odin proud. And Seth just taunting his opponent now. 
Oh, no. Oh, stop right to the gut. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Taking flight. Five star frog splash. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm has the arm trapped. And a series of vicious stomps. Rollins with a head of steam. Big air. Stomp. Now Rollins needs to end this. Cover. Kicks out. Just kicked out. He had to dig deep to break that pin. But can it be done again? How much is left after that? Hey, guys, on most nights, Rollins would have just ended this, but not tonight. Seth Rollins is in complete control. Yeah, Ivar needs to find an opening fast. Tag is made, and here. In the arena tonight. Guillotine applied. Not gonna lie. Big right hands to the body. Shoves off his opponent and he is out. Two. Oh, what a right. Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. Check. Punch lands. Rollins has a more vintage Falcon arrow. That versatile offense of the Viking Raiders looks stifled there. Look at this. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. A slap. Boom. Head first. Kicked off. Got some room. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Beats the count out, and what a close call. Right to the kidneys from behind. Eric fires back. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Remarkable power being shown here. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Paying it right back with a reversal. from his beating heart will not be stopped and we know rollins has a temper you have to think he's starting to get in his own head a bit look at this crowd it's insanity in here bedlam power slam measuring his man center of the ring Control. Shut up, Byron. Raped across the top rope. Flying forearm. And listen to this place. Look out. Elbow drop. Piercing. back into the ring. Here are your winners.
works hard to Seth Rollins. A true team effort. That was a great example of what a tag team can do when it's firing on all cylinders. He's a true alpha male. Braun Breaker, ready to dominate. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia. Weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun. Breaker broke down the damn door and has terrorized the competition during his young career. Just look at Breaker's face. The intensity of this man is palpable. Braun looks ready to completely annihilate the opposition. The American Nightmare has arrived. The son of a dream looking to realize his destiny in WWE. And his opponents from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! Cody Rhodes has been on a mission as of late to solidify his position at the top of the WWE. He reached the main event of WrestleMania. Now it's time to finally finish the story. You can compare him to his father, his brother, but Cody has been dead set on forging his own path to success. While certainly honoring his family, Cody knows this is his time to shine. And a win tonight goes a long way towards that. I'll tell you, I bet there's a lot 
lot of NXT superstars back there with a little trepidation going on, a little nervousness knowing that Kane has entered the NXT arena. Superstars finally enter the ring, and we are officially underway. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. You can't prepare your face for that. And he's able to reverse. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Ron avoids the attack. Dominating shoulder tackle. Bulldog plants him. Just rubbing salt in the wound now. But I guarantee they're going to take great umbrage with that offense. Powerbomb position. Fighting out. Hammered away with punches to the face. Tough position to be caught in here. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. Some superstars are understandably hesitant to exploit the no disqualification stipulation. Then they need to go wrestle a different match. This is the kind of match where you need to cross the line before the opposition does. If a superstar wants the W, they need to overcome that hesitation. Sledgehammer right to the gut. Looking like John Henry swinging the hammer like that. Just one right after the other can't be stopped. Oh. And he slides him back to the mat. Took him out at the knee. Illegal in many sports, but that was used effectively in there. He went right into that turnbuckle. Headlock applied and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Getting carried, unsure what they're thinking. Ooh, that's a shot to the throat. Look at that, Saxton. He's running away. Uh, I wouldn't say that. He's just recomposing himself. Oh, oh. Staved off that attack. Oh, no. And a reverse DDT. And this one might be headed ringside. Loving blow. Boom! Headbutt to the back of the neck. Oh, foot just stomping down. And gets tossed back into the mat. Breaker just looking to humiliate his opponent. Taking off from the ropes. And it appears the fear factor not at play there. Kane is being met toe-to-toe -to -toe with a resistance he didn't expect. You can tell Cody was zeroed in on his own. DDT. He's got him down. Is this it? Just kicks out. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. No, now that he has the kendo stick, I definitely do not want to be in his path of destruction. Big shot taken. That one's going to leave a well. From a seated position, this takes tremendous power. And their opponent putting on the brakes in a reversal. Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Isn't gonna be pretty. All the way out of flex. Russian leg sweep. The big red monster Kane lifted him up high. Tombstone pile driver. 
Kane stamping it into this. And a kick out. No one saw that coming. Cody Rhodes with a defiant kick out, simply refusing to stay down. And Kane can't believe it. A long career of burying superstars with that very same move was not. This should come as no surprise. In a havoc-filled triple threat, you're going to take some big hits. Oh, that might have just broken something. Well, you're looking to end this. Crossroads. Oh, man. Breaker just got busted up. Oh, look at the squeeze. It's on like a vice grip. Oh, that just looks nasty. Oh, God. Waist lock, but able to block into an arm drag. What's coming next? Back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. Counters with an attack on Breaker. Oh. And this has got to be it. And the victory. Here is. the two other hungry competitors who are in this match. Three superstars absolutely giving it their all, with one breaking away from the pack in the most dominant way possible. What a match. Well, this just went from a match to a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Moscow, Russia. Weighing in at 187 pounds, the NXT Champion, Ilya Dragunov! This dude is downright explosive, like a lit stick of dynamite with a very short fuse. There is pure intensity in the eyes of Dragunov. That's beyond intensity, Saxton. Those are the eyes of a man possessed. Well, I, for one, cannot wait to see Dragunov compete here tonight.
Someone's about to be taught a grappling lesson. A painful one, no doubt. And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 100 and nine. Oh, what a cheap shot. That's just evening the playing field, Cole. What a disgrace. The referee trying to get things in order and finally getting this match underway. Good luck. They're definitely not thinking about the match right now. Wow, what impact. Plenty of ways to get creative up on the entrance area. Also plenty of ways to get yourself seriously hurt. Dragunov has said to himself, and I quote, I am violence, and he considers himself to be invincible. How do you account for a man like that? Well, if anything, he's too intense. Dragunov puts too much emotion out there, and sometimes that rage gets the better of him. When he goes fully off the handle, that's your opening to exploit his mistakes. But it's going to hurt to get to that point, so be ready. Bye, Buster! And the possibility for serious injury just went way up. These superstars are starting to get very imaginative right now. You have to think someone's looking at that stage and getting some dark thoughts. Well, that is a sign that definitely gets the point across. This is a pretty dangerous place to fight. Screens, exposed metal, ledges, so much could go wrong very quickly. Whip back into the ring. Superstars in the ring, and the referee officially starts the match. Well, this is the way we're starting, Cole. I think the WWE Universe is in for quite a show tonight. Chop to the chest. Left by the turnbuckles. In full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. And Dragunov's resiliency was tested with that attack. Gulak showed off some of his impressive skill set with that attack. Dragunov fires back. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Down with a suplex. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Oh, the apron. The hardest part of the ring. After that attack on the apron, there is no way we're seeing them leave this arena without medical assistance. Oh, impressive counter. <laughs> Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Now we know what the five fingers say to the face. Ouch. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Landing directly on the face. Measured knee drop. Yeah. Oh, reversal catches Gulak. Guys, I have to admit, it's truly hard to watch when a rivalry goes from competition to something more personal and sinister. He thinks he has it. The pin doesn't even last to a count of one. This isn't even close to over. And this is just a vulgar display of ruthlessness. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Oh, and that buys some time. Here's the torture rack. Racked up. Not finished yet. Into a neckbreaker. A no-frills assault by Gulak. That's what a true master of his craft is capable of. Gulak looking for the Gulak. The Gulak locked in. Gulak's got the Gulak locked in. It's cinched in. I think we're just moving. And he lets him out of the submission hold. Could have been a strategic move to wear down that body part for something bigger later. Oh, oh. Stop. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. From the top. Oh, and he doesn't connect. Big knee to the mid 
midsection. Ooh! Oh, just throwing their body. Reversal from Gulak. Makes some space and gets out of dodge. with a stop to the gut. Launching himself to the coast to coast. Dragging out really showing what he's made. This could be it. Cover for the win. Stopping the refs count at two. And you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Down to Odin and a double up. What's Dragonov forming here? Driving a forearm into the jaw. Good night. Cover. And a kick out. I would have bet this was one after that last hit. Goes to show you just never know what your opponent's capable of. And Dragonov can't let this get to his head. He needs to keep going. Needs to keep fighting. After all we've seen, these men are still not finished. For the fight for Pinamaka. And just look at the damn it. Here he goes for the win. Cover. Wow, what a win. Dragging off with the victory. Here is your winner, Ilya Dragunov. Try as he might, Drew Gulak couldn't get the W tonight. I know Gulak has to be livid right now. This is not how he planned things going down.